do subscribe to ikeda channel and press bell icon to get updates about latest engineering hsc and iit je main and advanced videos we'll be uh, going further further into this chapter and see uh, what is the principle involved in the working of centrifugal pumps we'll see the sketches of it we'll see uh, the different components and how it works So as you can see here uh, in the diagram, I've drawn the uh, reciprocating pump. This is how it looks like. So uh, this, as you can see, this uh, black part that I've drawn, that is a cylinder. Now inside the cylinder, there is a piston. As you can see, uh, this is a piston. And on the piston, there is a rod called as a piston rod, which is just welded to the piston. Now the rod is now uh, connected to the connecting rod. As you can see here, uh, this rod having certain thickness it is called connecting rod which is used to connect the crank with the piston rod so this is the piston rod which is welded to the piston and this is the connecting rod which connects the crank with the piston rod now crank as you can see this is the crank i'm shading it now the crank is uh, connected to a prime mover it can be a motor or it can be something else so it is connected to a prime mover so it is constantly rotating it is constantly rotating with certain rpm with certain value of angular velocity it is rotating and in turn it will just move the slider here and there since the crank is rotating it is giving a reciprocating motion to the uh, piston as you can see here they are connected to each other and the principle of working is single slider crank chain mechanism you all know that it is uh, it comes in the uh, tom single slider crank chain there is a slider the piston is called as a slider this is the connecting rod this is the crank as the crank rotates the piston will slide inside the cylinder now i forgot to draw the two walls i'll draw it now so as you can see this is the sum so it is a place where the water has to be lifted and this part is nothing but the suction pipe the head uh, through which the water has to be lifted into the pump so this hs as you can see it is a distance between the sump and the center of the reciprocating pump it is called a suction head which means that is the head through which it is it has to be lifted for the water to go into the pump and this uh, hd is nothing but the delivery head which is the head that has the water has to uh, gain so that it goes from the pump into the delivery end 
so hs and hd are very important terms uh, when it comes to reciprocating pumps uh, now these are the two walls as you can see here it things these are two walls the suction valve and this is the delivery valve they are one uh, they are they are all flow only in one direction they are unidirectional walls so when the piston is moving uh, when the, when the piston is sucking water from the sump the inlet valve becomes so it opens that is a suction uh, suction at the suction end the inlet valve opens and the delivery valve closes because you don't want a uh, delivery valve to be open when the suction is happening so when there is suction then when the piston is going towards right the inlet valve will be opened and the delivery valve will be closed so once the suction stroke is over once the water starts getting compressed this inlet valve be, will be closed and the delivery valve will be opened and the water will be discharged at this end so this is how it works as you can see here uh, the crank will generate a circle so when the crank is at a the piston will be uh, at the left extreme left of the cylinder and as the piston starts moving from a to c the piston will start moving from extreme left to extreme right the piston will start moving here and at the same time it will suck water and how it sucks water is because when you uh, there is a vacuum created and the water is at the atmospheric pressure and since the vacuum is created uh, the water moves into the pump because of the pressure difference and it gets sucked and this will happen till the crank reaches point C so till the crank reaches point C the piston will come to extreme right and by that time it will suck a lot of water and it will be equal to the volume that the piston will displace so the, the volume of water that will be sucked suck will be equal to the volume of the piston displaced now once the crank has reached point C it again starts moving from C to A by that time the piston will start compressing the water and at the same time the delivery valve will be opened and the water is getting compressed the delivery valve will be opened because of the pressure created and this will open and it will allow the water to go up so this is the basic principle that is involved in the working of this uh, system i'll uh, write the names so that you can understand in a better way so, uh, as you can see i've drawn the reciprocating pump if you've all understood the working of this now i'll write the names So I have completely named the diagram also. So the delivery valve that is at the delivery pipe, the suction valve that is just at the entrance, uh, just as the water enters into the uh, cylinder, there is a wall suction valve. Then the suction pipe, then there is delivery pipe, the crank which is rotating, the connecting rod which connects the piston rod with the crank, then the piston which uh, reciprocates within the cylinder and sucks water. Uh, then there is reservoir from which the water has to be lifted then HS is the height <coughs> the suction head you call it HD is the delivery head so that's how it works that that's how the diagram looks like now uh, we've seen the working how it works also so we've seen different parts so that was all about this uh, the diagram and the principle of working of this uh, centrifugal I mean the reciprocating pump so I hope you have understood the working principle the components and different terms involved in this thank you